college in just four days on the GoFundMe page that he has created. It is great to see you, sir. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me on. Well, first off, thank you for your service uh, to, to our great country. How'd you come up with this idea? And tell us uh, what you're trying to do and how you're getting the word out in terms of your GoFundMe page to build the border wall. Well, I think Americans in general are frustrated with the way things were going over the last year with this border wall. And uh, a lot of people talked about doing it. Uh, a few people have done it themselves but failed a little bit. And uh, I just thought maybe, you know, something I could do, maybe people would take to it, being a triple amputee. And, uh, you know, once I put it out there, it, it just it blew up fast. And uh, I think it shows the support from Americans of what they want and what they're trying to achieve. And, um, you know, people want this wall. The support is there. And uh, they're ready to put their money where their mouth is, and they're trying to make this happen. They're trying to show the, our political leaders of what they want. So you are a, a married father of two. You lost both of your legs and your right arm in 2004 uh, in an insurgent attack in Iraq. Can you give us a characterization of why you believe this wall needs to go up? Um, I think, you know, we need it for the security of our nation. We are, we're a nation of laws. We need to uphold these laws. We need to know who's coming across our borders. You know, we need to protect our, our kids. We need to protect our people. Um, we see it time and time again where, um, you know, there's, there's individuals coming across these borders who shouldn't be coming to our country. Uh, they're, they're killing people. It's unacceptable. One death is too many deaths, and uh, we need to put a stop to it. We need to know who's coming across the borders. I'm for legal immigration, knowing who's coming across. You know, that's what our country was built on, legal immigrants, and we need to, to follow that tradition. Are you looking to raise the whole $5 billion? I mean, you've raised $11 million so far. What if you miss your goal? What, what happens to the money then? Um, well, we're trying to raise $1 billion right now, and if we miss our goal, we're either going to refund it or we're going to let the people take a vote on it and let them see what they want to do with that with those funds because it is a it is a big amount if they want to put it towards another border group or making the border better or you know giving back to veterans whatever they want to do with it we're going to put it in their hands yeah you've raised an impressive amount of money in just a few days what's the average donation like i think you mentioned that if everyone who voted for trump just donated eighty dollars we we get the the money needed for the wall Yep, I think right now it is around, our last I checked it was around $60, and, um, but see that's, we're not getting just people who are voting for Trump now. I'm getting messages from many Democrats who say they support this wall, so, I mean, the $60 million just is for Trump voters. We could have a lot more if we get all the people who just support the wall, even if they're Democrats or Republicans, and it's showing the support of all Americans who are coming together on this. Uh, Brian, uh, again, thank you for your service. Um, when you speak to the people, um, the, the other people in the military, friends of yours, I'm sure, from your service days, are, are they uh, unilaterally in support of the wall? Or do you hear from anyone who's not really supporting it? Or d is the military behind this 100 percent? Everyone I know is behind it 100 um, percent. There's a few people that I know who may be like friends of friends who might not support it that aren't in the military. But everyone I've served with in the military is 100 percent behind this wall. And uh, I think that the American people need to know the, the, the amount of support that are behind, is behind this wall is, is a lot more than the liberal media, CNN, and all them want you to believe. I mean, that's what I was shocked when I got tons of emails from, uh, from Democrats. And I, it blew my mind because you don't hear anything about that. You don't think that Democrats want this wall, but yeah. clearly they do want this wall. How, how can people donate if they, if, if they choose to? Um, we set up just a, a site right now called WeFundTheWall.com, and that's basically our, our hub for everything, where you can go and it'll, it has a redirect to our, where you can donate. Uh, it has the mailing address on there if people want to send checks, and it's WeFundTheWall.com. Okay. Okay. Well, Brian, great stuff. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. We'll be watching 